We have an NHL trade to discuss between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Chicago Blackhawks. We'll discuss the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some news from the NHL. We have a trade between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Chicago Blackhawks. This is a one-for-one -one deal. The Pittsburgh Penguins trade forward Sam Lafferty to Chicago in exchange for Alex Nylander. Now, in case of Sam Lafferty, he was a fourth-round pick back in 2014, 26 years old, played in 10 games this year, and has put up two assists uh, throughout his career since being drafted. Uh, he's played in a total of 94 NHL games, putting up 21 points with the biggest opportunity there. Uh, a couple seasons back, he appeared in around 50 games. Since then, he's been used a little bit more sparingly. Uh, went to uh, college and played college hockey after being drafted, so it was a little bit later getting to the NHL, but at this point, uh, certainly not yet really established as a full-time NHLer. And of course, the uh, the Penguins are getting close to being able to activate uh, Evgeny Malkin from injured reserve. And as they do that, Lafferty was going to need waivers, where he's been called up and played his 10 games. Uh, usually, every 10 games or every 30 days, you need to go through waivers again anyway. So rather than put Lafferty through waivers, which was going to become necessary here very shortly before he could appear again or before Malkin could be activated. Um, they trade him instead because they could have lost him in that sense. And they get back Alex Nylander. Of course, Nylander was a uh, former first-round pick, eighth overall in 2016, but currently playing in Chicago's minor league system. So he's not on an NHL roster right now, so he won't need waivers. So smart move on Pittsburgh's part. Uh, they get themselves a player that they don't have to put through waivers, and instead they trade one who they were going to need to do that. Nylander can play with their minor league team, and they can decide to call him up. Uh, he's only signed for this year year as well so they can take a flyer on a former first rounder see what they can turn him into um, of course you know after being drafted by the Sabres he's had a lot of injury issues which is a, a big part of his uh, you know career development which is a lack thereof we should say uh, in 1920 though uh, he certainly had uh, more options uh, on the table where he played 65 games and appeared uh, to put up 10 goals 16 assists for 26 points uh, with Chicago but then last year was entirely out the entire year injured uh, and then this year so far he's come back but he's played in their minor league affiliate in Rockford putting up eight goals and four assists in 23 games which is okay not great but not terrible either obviously Nylander's coming back from a pretty serious surgery but like I said Nylander was drafted with a lot of pedigree very talented skilled player that's battled a lot of injuries and just hasn't really had uh, a fair shot at you know really developing into a regular NHLer. But it's not not that it's you know the teams that he's been with. I mean he's been with two organizations. Chicago took a flyer on him, trading picking up him him up in a trade from Buffalo uh, a couple of years back, and obviously they're ready to move on. They were they got you know some short lived progress, but it didn't stick, and the injuries took over. Yet again, so we'll see. Like I said, it's really a minor deal. It helps Pittsburgh from losing a player on waivers. Get some, but a former first rounder that they can maybe take a flyer on for the rest of the year. They don't need waivers right now. Uh, he could need waivers later on if they decide to call him up or whatever. But still, it's something that they can uh, kind of move on from here. Minor deal, but should help possibly both teams out of a jam. Uh, Nylander was ready to be moved. The same thing, we can probably expect Dylan Strom probably at some point too in Chicago. Although he has had a little bit more of an opportunity since the coaching change. But Nylander, on the other hand, spent the whole year in the minor. So let me know your thoughts on this deal down below in the comments. We'll discuss further. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest news, rumors, and analysis on all 32 NHL teams. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.